Hey guys, Metal War God here. I have actually two updates. So it'll be two videos. And uh, first up is going to be the mail. That's what I've been getting in the mail lately. And uh, we probably, well, I'm not going to try to make it a long one, but it probably will end up being a long video. So bear with me. So anyway, we're going to get into uh, the CDs I've been getting. These were uh, pre-order items. And uh, they finally arrived here Thursday, I believe. But anyway, first up was a band called uh, Peacemaker. Uh, both these, this one and the other one I'll show came from Boone's Overstock. I believe, yeah, Boone's Overstock. Uh, got 10 tracks, just great heavy metal uh, in the traditional sense. And uh, trying to think, let me see here. It has Scott Miller on guitars, Ronnie Monroe on lead vocals. DJ's Ampa Drums. I know I'm missing one here. Anyway, I only see three, but there's four in the band. So, anyway, uh, great stuff. If you have never heard, uh, this is actually a new release, so I'm sure a lot of people have not heard the band before. So, anyway, here's some Peacemaker. Up next, CD number two, uh, this one. The Peacemaker was on uh, Brutal Planet Records. Up next, a band called Perpetual Paranoia and their album The Reapers. Uh, the Peacemaker was uh, Concrete and Terror. So uh, anyway, uh, this is kind of more thrashy. Uh, kind of leads in doomy and then it kind of really goes into more of a thrashy style so uh, anyway this is uh two cds i'm getting i haven't got a lot of cds but a few and uh i couldn't resist since i do have a player that is has not been used a lot I decided to order some cassettes. Yeah, some cassettes from uh, Shadow Kingdom. And uh, they were probably $5.99 to $7.99. And uh, first up, Haunt, Burst in Flame. Great album, by the way, if you have not gotten this, pick it up. And then I picked up uh, their EP, Luminous Eyes. Four songs on it. And this one, well, this was actually put out in 2018, but I believe it came out in 2017 on the vinyl. And then uh, a band called Dungeon. And uh, let's see here, guys. It's hard to read the title. Anyway, so I got some dungeon. Up next, I've heard uh, good reviews on this. I didn't have the vinyl, I don't have the CD, but I picked up the cassette of Vulture and uh, the album The Guillotine. I know Nathan Hernandez raves about this quite a bit. I haven't seen any other uh, uh, BC members post anything about this band, the Vul Vulture. Good stuff here. Up next, great stuff from Droid. The kind of a uh, power thrashiness. Bottom, this is uh, their album is uh, Terrestrial Mutations. I have this on vinyl. Uh, they are now having a. Uh, bundle pack over at Shadow Kingdom 
with uh, the vinyl on a shirt, which is at a decent price. But I have the vinyl, so I am not going to do a bundle pack. So anyway, this is Droid. And then, uh, of course, Overkill. Yeah, Feel the Fire. They're selling that. I don't know how many people have this on cassette. Of course, this was released originally, I believe, 1985. So I was happy to get this. And the last one is Lethal Night with uh, Visions in the Night. Come out in 2017. So yeah, cassettes are making a comeback. So if you're interested, you go over there and pick them up. Not a bad price. I seen a bunch at uh, a used shop the other day, but I didn't see anything I wanted. So now let's get into the mail. Oh, I can't find the one I'm looking for. First up, the band we're listening to, Mad Dog, and their album uh, Dawn of the Seventh Sun, originally came out in 1969, been uh, reissued on RD Records, so uh, good stuff here. Up next. Also from uh, 69, I just got this, so I really haven't had a chance to listen to this. A uh, band called Hello Hammett. And uh, their Hammer LP. And uh, it has uh, a little writing on here, uh, Hello Hammett, Hammer LP. Originally released in 69, Hello Hammett's Lone LP is one of the ultimate hard rock obscurities of the hippie era. Shredding guitars, hyperactive drumming, underscore heavy, throaty vocals inspired by Led Zeppelin and Steppenwolf. This DC area band really knew their way around hard rock riff, an essential hard psych monster back on vinyl and there's uh, 500 of these out there so uh, it's on the Himalaya records so if you're interested go over to this guy's I actually think I showed this, but anyway, uh, I finally picked up the new Black Mirrors. Uh, look into the Black Mirror. It's on a gate. It's a gate bolt. Kind of a retro '70s sounding band, uh, female fronted. So anyway, here's some black mirrors. Uh, these are from Discogs, a band called Servant, and the album Rock and Revival. Came out in uh, 1979 on this. Let's see, it is like a Toonsmith label. Yeah, the Toonsmith label. You can see that right there. But uh, good stuff here from the service. These are all male pickups. Up next, uh, 
this is sealed. I was very surprised. I thought when I ordered it, it was a used copy. Um, I rarely ever see this in used stores. Um, I love the vocalist. He's in Deep Purple. And I'm talking about Ian Gillenband and Scarabus. Which came out in, uh, let's see here. I think it was 1980. Oh, 1977 on uh, Island Records. So some Ian Gillen band with Scarabus. Up next, from the same seller, picked up Sacred Steel, War Gods of Metal. Uh, my first Sacred Steel on vinyl. It's on the Metal Blade Records, came out in 1998. Of course, uh, you, you really got to get used to the vocals. It's kind of like uh, early Gravedigger vocally. Uh, you know, I'm not saying the vocals are exactly like that, but these are vocals that you got to get accustomed to. And uh, but other than that, a great album. I uh, have this on CD. Uh, but uh, finally picked this up. Sacred Steel. Up next, uh, I knew nothing of this guy. Uh, I bought it because of the cover alone. Uh, but uh, anyway, I picked up Daniel L. Talley and the album Power. Now, this is an instrumental album. Uh, and it is playing his guitar with furious conviction and compositions that sound as they were written by ritualistic candlelight in the mid-morning hours. Comes the first true classical metal, all instrumental album. So, uh, anyway, be curious to hear this. So you have Daniel L. Talley. So what is the label on? This came out in uh, 89. It's on, actually, it's Daryl L. Daly, excuse me, and it's on Daly Records. So he has his own record label. Uh, another Discogs buy. It was part of that uh, one previous to this, along with two other ones, The Scarabus by Ian Gillian. And uh, I picked this up. I have never seen this one. I only thought there was one album from this band. So I picked it up. Uh, some Liar. And Straight From The Hip. It's on Decker Records. Came out in 1977. I think the other Liar is Looking To The Fire, if I'm not mistaken. Which I'm sure everybody's familiar with that one, but I'm not familiar with this one, so I picked it up. Uh, some new stuff from these guys out of Canada. Third album. This is definitely old school 70s hard rock style and to me, I think this is their best album to date. The band is called La Chinga and Beyond the Sky. Fantastic album. Uh, I'm trying to think of uh, like Death Rider and Mama Boogie. Great tracks. Definitely, if you, if you did not know these guys were uh, a newer band, you probably think they came from the 70s. That's all reminiscent their music is that's how good it is uh, but uh, anyway this is a gatefold so here is La Chinga and then I picked up the new Doro Forever Warriors Gatefold vinyl on Nuclear Blast. It is a double album set. And 
great album. I, I think it's kind of uh, one of her better ones in a quite a long time. Kind of goes back to her roots. But uh, anyway, some good stuff from Adoro. Band I came across a month and a half ago through a band called Endless Boogie. Um, I was watching their videos and this video or this band's video was below it and I clicked it on and I liked what I heard and I'm going to butcher the name and if I show this I apologize but uh, Karambin and the album I actually did show this so uh, anyway I uh, apologize for that but anyway it's very differently it's a different album very very good guitar but uh, female, uh, kind of 70s influenced psych whatnot, but I did show this so I apologize. Uh, then I picked up, got it, you know, I, I don't even remember half the stuff I get. Should slow down a little bit, but uh, anyway, some very slick, welcome to the wrecking ball. I know I showed this. But uh, anyway, some good stuff here. And if I can find it. Anyway, it's not there. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that isn't the one either. Uh, some Runaways, featuring Joan Jett, uh, Mama We're All Crazy and All, a four song a mini album. Came out in 81 on Wayward Productions. Does not have Cherry Curry on it, so, but I've never seen this one. And I've never seen this one. And I believe this, this is an import uh, album. Some Crocus with Painkiller. Uh, it's put out by uh, Phonogram. This is a European release from 1978. So it tells you our, how far back Crocus goes. Uh, I seen this posted on one of the VC groups for sale. I picked it up, had to have it. So I got this one here, Crocus. And uh, <clears throat> part of that group was this, and another one I'll show you right after, uh, CJSS, World Gone Mad. Of course, this is uh, uh, David Chastain, uh, Russell Jenkins, Les Sharp, and Mike Skimmerhorn. Never see any of this used at all and I did see one one time but it was like 50 bucks I wasn't gonna pay 50 bucks got these for a decent price but anyway here's some CJSS with world on that and also I picked up praise the Lord see I think these were both released about the same time This one was released in 86. And this is also released in 86 on the Leviathan Records. But good to have this in my collection. And then of course, Banshee, Mind Slave. I have uh, this, I got the, the CD that came with this. I also have the original CD that first came out when it was only released on CD. And of course, uh, released on No Life, No Metal Records. Good stuff here from Banshee. And I picked up some uh, earlier stuff. This is also sealed 
from 1988 on Metal Blade Records. Some early Banshee with Cry in the Night. I think that now I have three Banshees now. Of course, this, yeah, it's on Metal Blade Records, so good stuff here. And the fourth and final album I'll probably ever see from these guys up to date. Uh, the EPs are really hard to find, and there's a band, band called Endless Boogie out of California, or out of New York, and their album Long Island. Definitely 70s infused hard rock boogie. But uh, good stuff from here. And I picked up some very early stuff from this group. I, had, I have their latest album, but I picked up some Madam X with We Reserve the Right. And this was actually from 1984 on CBS Records. So Madam X has been around a long time. It's Roxy Petrucci, Petrucci, I, I'm gonna put you, Roxy Petrucci and her sister. And I, I'm going to forget her name, but uh, anyway, some early Madam X. And, not sure if I showed this, but some Italian with Midnight Rider and Gatefold. Might have showed this. Got number uh, 153 of 500. And this was part of the uh, Shadow Kingdom records that was, this one was missed in the order. And I had just gotten it here last week, I think it was. Uh, and a band called Magnet. And uh, it's called Feel Your Fire on Soul Speller Records. It is a gatefold. Traditional heavy metal. And I saved the best for last. Uh, there are certain bands that uh, when they really grab me, I gotta have everything and uh, the Night Demons was one of those bands, and still are. Uh, anything that they put out, I gotta have. It doesn't matter if it's five, six albums, I gotta have it. Uh, well, this band here is one of the, is another band, Haunt. This is part of the bundle pack I got a couple weeks ago. And I got the tote bag and burst into flame. Very cool. Of course, that came with a CD, a patch, and... God, I can't remember what else was in there. I think the vinyl was in there. But anyway, uh, I had since gotten... Well, I, I got into Haunt through this album, which was uh, Luminous Eyes. And uh, I'd always seen them sitting over there at Shadow Kingdom, never pulled the plug, never pulled the plug. Finally, I did. I'm glad I did, because this pressing is no longer available uh, and this one no sorry this one is no longer available which came out in uh, this one came out in 2017 if I'm not mistaken it is but anyway this is a, a colored vinyl first pressing is the blue and black. So that pressing is no longer available. And 
and I had just gotten this one, which is on the orange and white. If I'm not mistaken, this is a uh, pressing number two or three. I think this is number two, pressing number two. They keep these keep selling out, so therefore they have to press more, and uh, I believe that is number two. Of course, you got the haunt shirt. And then, the new album, Burst Into Flame. This is what I got with the bundle. It's kind of an orange orange, dark red, black vinyl with the custom uh, custom centerings and then the fanatic I am I got this one which is all black again custom center rings These are all the colors that they have on vinyl. I do not believe there's any black. As far as I know, no black. Um, and if there is, well, I'll have to find it. But I don't think there is a black version of this new album from Hunt. So anyway guys, that's all I have for uh, this mail update, and uh, anyway, uh, if you got any comments, leave them below, and I'll uh, see you next time on your, my mail update, and take care.